Hello, Master. Hi, Hi Master. Master. Hello. Hey, how are you? Oh, we're very yeah, good, good, Master. Master. How are you, Master? I'm okay. I'm okay. Just on you a story. Oh, thank uh-huh. you. Thank, thank you, you Master. 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 What do you mean, thank you? I pay the debt and you say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a story about the planet. Oh. So, anything you want to tell me or you want to hear about the planet? Master, we have a few questions. Ah, okay. Previously, Master has said that if Trump was in office, the war would have not broken out like it did. That Trump doesn't have to do anything with him being in the chief position. Yeah. What does that mean? Could Master explain more about this? Yeah. Meaning that he would not have to fend off the war. Or he would not have to do anything because heaven will work through him. Oh, wow. It is arranged like this. If the negative representative won, then the negative power will take the upper hand. Oh. Then they do many other damaging things or humanity threatening survival things like war, famine, and more pandemics. But if the positive representative won, then the positive power will have the upper hand. Oh. Oh. See. Everything has a price. And that doesn't include whether or not you cheat to be in the office. Oh. If you are in the office, you're recognized by some, then that's it. You're done. Because then you can exercise all the physical, secular power in that country. Yes. 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 And if that country, like the United States of America, has power over many other domains in the world, then, of course, we are in more trouble. Not a small country. Not a less influential country. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. yes master. So that's what I mean by Trump doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to go around begging for peace or anything. Mm-hmm. Things will turn out the way it will be beneficial to humankind if the positive representative wins the election. Yes, yes, yes master. Master. Then he can have a sort of secular power invested in him to use. And he can exercise some more influence in the world and not damaging so much like war now because the war also damages in many other ways economic, psychological, social and peace of course the UN just issued for warning that if the ports in Ukraine don't open then millions of people will face starvation Right. because Ukraine is the fourth biggest wheat exporter in the world do you know that? yes, yes. yes. Well, yes, master. yes. Wow, you're so smart. <laughs> and even the largest exporter of sunflower oil. Ukraine is famous for that. So you see right now all these ports that are supposed to have ships to carry all these uh, essential foods from Ukraine to the world are blocked by Russia. That's right. So it's very difficult to bring out the supply to the needy world outside Ukraine. Farmers have found themselves in the firing line during this war. Their grain storage facilities have been attacked. Shelling has left their green fields covered in craters and some have even been mined. Everything we're doing now is related to the war. We go to bed and we don't know if we'll wake up tomorrow. Vitaly Kostrichow grows corn, wheat and barley, but he can't even sell his grain at cost price, let alone make a profit, because Russia has all but destroyed Ukraine's export market. Its blockade of Black Sea ports is starving farmers of income and Ukraine of a big source of national wealth. The attacks on infrastructure and the blockade on exports don't just hurt Ukraine, they hurt the world. About half the wheat bought by the World Food Programme comes from Ukraine, so Russia's war could have devastating consequences for those who can least afford them. So the war is not just killing people, innocent people, and children, elderly, etc., but also killing other parts of the world. Yes, yes, master. yes master. It's like a knife with two edges can kill both humanity elsewhere and Ukrainians at the same time. Mm. That's why I call this evil. Yes, Mr. Yes, Master. That's why I call Putin and his gang evil. I'm not exaggerating. Yes, Mr. Yes, Master. Master. Putin and his gang are not that dumb. They are not three years old children not to know all this. They did all this on purpose to bring the world to its knees, to control. Understand, yes, yes. Master. 
to force the world to surrender to his dictatorial evil will. Do you see it now? Yes, yes. 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 As I told you last time, Europe depends on Ukraine for wheat and other essentials, as well as many other countries like Africa, for example, and even far as Brazil, China, are all affected as the war in Ukraine drags on. Yes. So this is evil, beyond evil. There is no enmity between Ukraine and Russia. The Ukraine didn't do anything at all. Oh, yes. yes, that's right. There's no excuse to go in there and then damage the world economy and everything and also put many people in Russia out of business, out of work as well. Russia's own citizens, mm. not just Ukraine and other people. Because Russia also exports a great deal of wheat, for example, to the world. Yes, yes. yes. So if Ukraine also is fused into Russia with exporting business, then many countries will have to kneel down to beg for food. Yes, yes, master. Master. That's why I told you that it's stupid not to fight with Ukraine, not to do anything, and thinking that Ukraine can uh, can live or die, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Now they realize. Eh? Yeah, right. Right. All the world leaders came to Ukraine now. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the embassies came back. Many things uh, re-established. Trudeau was the last now of the world leaders who came and also pledged more help to Ukraine. Oh. They should have done that a long time ago. Yes. When Crimea was attacked and taken away by Russia. When let bygones be bygones, they just that. I'm so sorry for Ukraine. I talk a lot about it because I'm feeling so sorry for this gentle, basic people. Yes, Master. They are mostly farmers. You know, farmers, they are not wanting any war or making trouble for anybody. That's right. Right, right Master. Yeah, they are the best. Farmers are the best. It is even written in the Bible that you should uh, plant your food with the sweat of your brow. Right. That's the best. The occupation, and I told you already, the most happily married people are the farmers. Yes. Yes, yes Master. According to research, and it should be so. They just plant and they see things grow, giving lives, and then sustaining lives on the planet. So they feel happy. Yes. Yes. Also, it's very uh, healthy work. They're always in the fresh air. Yes. 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 So they're happy, of course. They work together to see things grow, knowing that people will be sustained and nourished by their labor, by the fruits of their diligent labor. So inside, the heart just feels happy, the mind feels tranquil, and the soul feels satisfied. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They have no chance to do anything bad to anybody. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not that they ever want to. Yes. Yes, yes Master. Uh, they're busy taking care of their fields, tending to their plants, their fruits, and their vegetables. They'd be happy seeing them lush, happy, and plentiful. Yes, yes, Master. yes Master. Because they can see the results right in front of their eyes. Mm, right. And daily, watch them grow more and more. So in this world, is not the world of heaven. Yes, yes. Master. Yes, Master. The heavenly beings, even though being on this planet, are limited in their power and the exercise of their power. That's mm -hmm. why, you know, many masters came and were persecuted. Yes, masters. Yes, yes, yes. Because they are the opposite force. And this planet is not heaven, you can see it. Yes, master. That's right. So, the master, heavenly beings, whoever came down to help the humans or other beings of this planet, are going, working, fighting, in the enemy land. Yes, yes, master. yes master. So they have to have many contract mm. agreements with the negative in order to come down. Mm. Thus they have karma heaped upon them, they have persecution, they have punishment for nothing they have done, they have even a bad name, a hatchet upon them for no reason. Mm. Yes, yes, yes master. Master. So Trump, for example, he's a representative of the positive power for America and the world as well, indirectly. If he wants, he could exercise many things of the power that's invested in him to do good for America, to protect American citizens, to protect his country from bankruptcy, to make his country prosper and his citizens feel safe and protected. And as well, he can have more diplomatic influence over the whole world. For example, when he was in office, he was already 
make in American, independent, in fuel. Oh, yes. yes. Doesn't have to depend on Russia because mm. he can foresee that Russia will not be able to extort his country in this way, America in this way. Understand. He can foresee it in his soul. Yes, yes. Master. Even if he's not aware, I haven't uh, directed him on what to do. Yes. 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 Because his soul is good, his heart is pure, and his mentality is innocent. So heaven can use him to do good for the United States of America now, of course the surrounding countries and for the world. That's the evidence already. Yes, yes Master. When he was in power, the, the economy of America was sound. And then also he made peace in unprecedented and impossible uh, deals with many of the Arab world, for example, and Israel. Mm, That's yes, true. Yes. That avoided a lot of bloodshed. Right. Yes, yes. yes. And he made peace also between South and North Korea. Mm. Yes. 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 And now Trump's gone and North Korea is threatening with more nuclear weapons, more weapons, and even threatened the South with nuclear weapons. Oh. I saw it on the news. And the old uh, president, the ex-president, has gone out, and even then North Korea still wrote a letter to consolidate their friendship, to praise uh, Moon Jae-in, ex-president of Korea. But they are not on very good terms with the new South Korean president. And the South also are not on very good terms with the North. Mm -hmm. They are already threatened strict uh, measurements against the North. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes Master. Master. So there's war kind of uh, looking in every corner, in the West, in Europe, and also in Asia. Yes, yes Master. Master. Yes, Master. And nuclear weapons not only damage the country intended to be attacked, but we also affect many surrounding countries. Yes, right. yes. We make a lot of people sick, die, and damage their mental, physical, psychological, many things. And also, of course, to affect the economy and the food security of the whole world. It's not just the country that's being attacked. That's right, miss. Or the aggressor country. It's not like that. It's not that simple. And the effects of the war will be felt long, 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 long afterwards. Yes. Yes, Master. Yes.